but I'm Wesley, and this is my wife Grace, and we are the grooms. Um, we just wanted to introduce ourselves so you could know a little bit about us and our testimony. Um, we got married in August of 2019, uh, after four years of dating, and uh, we're still wild about each other, so we think that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, we met at Country Christian Church uh, up in North Ranch. Uh, my family had been attending uh, since I was a kid, and when Grace and her mom moved out, they started attending as well. Um, after we got married, uh, we moved to an apartment in Clawson and uh, started the process of looking for a church. Um, we were still attending Country Christian, um, but the hour plus drive uh, made it very difficult. Um, we weren't as active as we wanted to be uh, volunteering and attending our small group. Um, we had a hard time uh, not becoming discouraged, um, and we were continuing to pray uh, for God to bring us to our next church family. Uh, but we never found anything that uh, truly preached the Word of God, uh, and we knew that wasn't right. Uh, although we were trying other churches, uh, and not constantly attending Country Christian, uh, we always uh, continue to faithfully tithe. And uh, this is where uh, things start to get a little miraculous for us. Uh, I'm the saver, and uh, although Wes is also very good with money, um, he just have, doesn't have as many qualms about using it, so that kind of makes him the spender in our relationship. And uh, we followed um, the plan laid out in Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University. I'm not sure if anybody's ever heard of that. Um, but mostly through his books and podcasts. Um, and we're very proud to say that we've uh, been able to be debt free throughout our entire relationship. Um, and we'll continue to be, um, other than our house, but that's getting a little bit ahead of things. Um, and uh, the budget is an extremely important tool. Um, in our relationship, and in the beginning, I had a tendency to kind of take point in that area. Um, I'm an outdoor-oriented kind of person, and we have an 80-pound German Shepherd mix, so living in an apartment was extremely difficult for, for us. Um, I had calculated it out um, more times than I can count, and uh, we were going to be in the apartment for at least two years. Uh, the first year was mostly just dedicated to completing our six-month emergency fund, and uh, then we would have had to renew our lease um, for at least another year in order to save up a proper down payment on a home. And uh, I'm not great with complicated math. <laughs> it's not my specialty. Um, but I finances are a passion of mine, so I knew that I was doing it right um, when I was running those numbers. And uh, one day I was doing it again um, just to see how far along we were and how much time we had left. And um, I saw our savings account and the amount that we had invested, and um, I immediately ran to us so that he could double check me. And um, nine months into what should have been at least an 18 month plan, um, we started looking for our home. And uh, I just couldn't believe it. Um, it didn't make sense, it shouldn't have added up that way. Uh, not even with like Wes getting a raise or me working overtime, it just didn't account for that, that difference in time. And uh, it just wasn't humanly possible. Um, and that's how we know that uh, the glory very clearly rests in God's hands. Um, and we could not believe the blessings that he poured out to us when we allowed our finances to truly be managed, um, to truly be his and managed our money God's way. Um, so here we are, brown new homeowners in uh, St. Clair Shores. <laughs> Uh, with a biblical pastor and a beautiful church family that we're very blessed to count ourselves as 